I uh, I guess I gotta continue on with this story because I thought that when it said end that it ended but I was told that I have to click on the uh, little I don't know what that uh, weird wording is to continue the story I don't know what's going on I don't know how much stupidity my guy's gonna do I don't know if this is be after the instant last time I'm still a little mad or sad I, I, I mixed emotions about that cause I just want to punch my guy okay I just want to punch him just spitting it out there I just want to be all like you're an idiot but that's sad I got to continue the story I got to get into this one I guess click on this Alright, it's the fourth day in the timeline where Sayori is gone. Um, and things have gotten weird. Yuri has been acting differently. Monica has been acting differently. The only ones that have been acting differently is Misaki, but Nasuki, I haven't really talked to her much. But Yuri here, she's been doing weird stuff lately. Ooh, I don't know. She's acting a little different than last time. But we'll find out. She's probably gonna get much more weirder uh, as this day goes on. So let's um, go to romance. Pick some good stuff here. Hold on. What's going on with numbers? On the street. What's going on with the numbers? Uh, fear. Okay, uh, this is weird. Uh, nightgown. Silly. But I'm just. This is just something I don't know. This origin? Anxiety? Poof. What was that? Something was down there. Peaceful. Horror. Existence. Family. Oh, I remember when family used to be Sayori's. Um, frightening. When does this end? Okay, we'll see. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Smile. Embrace. Uh, adventure. Um, imagination. Uh, environment. Forgive. Was that so worry? Hi, Parker. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Nisaki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversation with your... Incisive yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it at... On a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously. What got into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've been just been feeling a little on edge lately. A anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, Perpter just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Come think of it, I've never heard her do piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. 
It motivates me to work hard for the festival. And, um... Right. I forgot. Um, about what, Nizuki? We were all talking yesterday, and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting to the club change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. But, um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Uh, uh, sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday, and I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm going to help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica. Uh, it, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Nisaki. Anyway, Perfter, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh -huh. Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Perfter is already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I, I just was... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Nice and not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this into the teacher desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, might have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Hey, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries up out of the classroom. Hey, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Why did this? Is, why is this happening? Is this happening again? Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Do, 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 do. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be is the most near water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach a corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kiai. Um, wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really bad, weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing her anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I 
I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things as soon after meeting someone is unusually, I mean, it's usually seen as improper, inappropriate, or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that mattered most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like, it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotion that I can't let out. And it's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Perfter, is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything else before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a little while? Yeah. I... Oh, not again. Oh, my God, not again. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And we will have the club room all to ourselves. No way to interfere with our reading time. No way to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from Mariah's. Her seems I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get it lonely or anything. No, I didn't deserve to be lonely. Nobody. That's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. Herpter. No, we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk to home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate. That is when we meet each other. And now we get the whole oh boy ending that I potentially wanted years for. Well, do you? Why is Monica here? Monica, why are you here? I can't read what she's saying. I just hear perked her. Well, <laughs> Yuri, what were you saying? I didn't, I didn't hear you. Finally. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Yuri holds up my phone to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. You, you were saying something. I didn't get there. I didn't hear what you were saying. You can continue on what you were saying, Yuri, because I'm not going to be, like, mad or anything if you don't continue, but if you don't want to continue, it's all good. But, okay. Cool. Perfect. I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Okay. You're too nice to me, Bertha. I've been... I never met any, anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? You already hose my poem to your chest. I'm going to take this home with me. Keep it in my room. I hope this makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. 
I'll even catch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself a paper cut so I can move your skin away when it enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. I love this last ending here. Why you want Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell the poems about more importantly, I've been doubting with my sit. Lucy, are I the most thoughtful person in the club? Uh, uh, I, I think I'm going to vomit. I told you things were gonna get weird. They get to see how weird Monica's gonna be over here. Don't say I didn't warn you, Perter. Where's your, where's your poem at? All right. I guess you like my poem. What about you in a second? What? You gave your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Hmm. It's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It just pisses me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. He's only been in here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to be try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Jerry, and it really hurts me to see her this happen. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about it. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading! I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. That's your own fault that she's Ill unlikable. Can you hear me, Perf Durf? If you would have just spend more time with Monica, all this probably would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. 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 What? What if I say no? Things I like about Papa. I like Papa when Papa comes from home early. I like when Papa cooks my me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa gives me asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks, I guess, whatever. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa comment on my friends. He doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. 
I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins on the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. Okay. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. What was that? Monica, jeez, why is the good mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Stagnating air is common, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry and lit. Nasaki, was, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it will help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. You can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere and occasion. So I'm going to make decoration and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. It, what about Perfter? Perfter is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Nizaki. Not only is your work already suitable for one person, but my task is liberating enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. <laughs> All you care about is dragging Perfect around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't do. I didn't even do anything. Okay. Then why not let Perfect decide who to help? Instead of abusing your power. I'm not abusing my power. Yes you are, Monica. Just let Perfter make a choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Perfter, I know you fed up. You are with these two by now. We can just... Nizaki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make a choice, okay? Okay, you know what? No, stop it. Oh yeah? No? Got it? Stop it? <laughs> Monica, you better stop your fucking shit. <gasps> I picked Jerry! No! <laughs> What's the choice? Oh no! <laughs> Why is it? Yeah, you... No, I didn't pick you. I accidentally picked Jerry on accident. You can meet. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? I don't care. Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Nasaki. It was what he chose. Who chose this? No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking perfect for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. You're. I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Hey, hey, hey. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Fooling Perfter away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Okay, you got that crazy shit in your eye. You got that crazy look in... Oh, no. Crazy. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. <laughs> Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're, you're scaring me a little. Oh, golly. Nizaki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri followed Makara and Nizaki out to the Hey, Perfter. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Why are you all giggling for her? Monica giggles at Yuri as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally! Finally! 
This is really all I wanted. Perfect, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you has far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I can't. If I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to involve your entire life around you? But it, it, it feels so good. Then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I'm trying. I'm tired and try stopping myself at first, but the feeling is too strong. I don't care anymore, first. I can. I have to tell you that I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every dripping blood in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care for Monica. Listen, please, Bertha. Just let. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. Please, no. I want you all to myself, and I will be your, only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, perfect. Tell me, you want to be my lover? Do you accept my confession? Fuck no. Girl, you cray cray, okay? I'm listening. If I, if I accepted your invitation, my life is going to be a living hell. Golly, you're going to freaking follow me around making sure I don't do anything? I'm getting a restraining order, lady. Golly. What the fuck? It was just a rejection, lady. Why? Yuri, why? You know, this is... Your last words is... I don't know. Your last words are like... Are you trying to tell me something? I have no idea. I... I can't read what you're trying to write me. But... I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't be with you. I couldn't be with you because I had my life and you had your life and then we barely knew each other. And technically you, it started being really, really, really weird since the last time. Cause last time I really did like you from the last like timeline thing. You was my favorite. Other than Sayori, Sayori was my favorite, then it was you. But this time, something's gone wrong. Horribly wrong. I don't know what went on with you. But your last words, I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. You're like gargling on blood in your mouth right now. That's how bad it is. You're like... <clears throat> but... Listen. I love you. You... It's like, can you just die already? I mean, you stabbed yourself multiple times. You're gonna die, just die. Or, or stay alive, I'm calling the ambulance. I'm gonna get the ambulance here, and you're gonna just be good, okay? The blood. You are, you are like telling me a whole, are you telling me the whole book? right now and you're this is your last like thing you want to say you just uh, uh, listen uh, I just want to tell you something I don't like uh, Mike something's got crazy they just make me feel like I I, I didn't want to but something's making me icy I, icy one 
I see. Spicy. I you You're talking forever, ma'am. You're you are talking forever on this. I don't even know what you're saying. Alright. Can you you just uh, all I all I'm hearing every time I'm just reading this is <laughs> You know, by the time you die, ambulance is gonna get here and get you. Don't worry. You know, uh, you won't. You probably won't die. You have enough time to survive. How much more? How much more are you talking to me? Golly, you are freaking going ham on talking to me so much, lady. Are you? Are you good? Um, just keep keep talking, ma'am. Keep talking. That's some blood everywhere. Can you can, can we just like stop this? You know what? Hey, I don't think you're gonna. I don't, I don't think you're gonna die. You know, I think I think you're good. Just go to the ambulance. Get out of here. Go go to the hospital. Get fixed, ma'am. Get fixed. You you're still talking. Man, and I think you're repeating some things too. I'm just gonna keep on. That's all I'm gonna do. And I, I don't know. She's writing a whole story, just in her last dying bouquet. What the fudge? Now it's getting. Gotta do this. Sorry, Yuri. pass up your last words I still care for you okay I do I really do it's just you know I can't understand a word you're saying <laughs> you're talking it's already night time and you just keep talking <laughs> where's the ambulance at I can't I, I need the ambulance here man <laughs> Why are you talking so much? <laughs> you should already choked on your freaking blood already. You're doing pretty good. It's already nighttime. That's amazing. And where the frick is the ambulance? I called them like an hour ago. It must one a lady stabbed herself a little girl freaking like a uh high schooler stabbed herself yes with a knife in the stomach in the chest um yes yeah yeah come on come on ambulance get her she's still alive she's talking to me right now I can't understand a word she's saying because she's, uh... Okay, it's in the morning again. You guys are taking forever to come get her. Really? Why is this doing this to me? Why is this doing this to me? It's kind of broken. It's... Oh, come on. <laughs> this thing is broken. Ma'am. Can you can you stop it? <laughs> you just keep talking to me. <laughs> this is going on for a whole. Um. Okay. After school. Oh wait. It's gotten different. But I still can't understand you. Oh my gosh. This is this is getting on my nerves. Uh, ma'am.
Yuri. <laughs> Where are those ambulance at? Ambulance is never coming to get you. I'm sorry. They just don't care about you. <laughs> I care about you. If I knew anything about... Oh no, now it's another night time. Damn it. <laughs> it's been two days. Okay, and you're still alive. <laughs> Why won't you die? Why? Why won't you die? What? Just... Okay, I'll admit. I'll, I'll admit. I, I did love you, okay? I, I, I thought you was a good person it, until you started being freaky. I mean, if you had done this to yourself, I don't know what you would have done if we got into any arguments in the future. I'll be like, hey, babe, uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to go play a game. <laughs> no, you won't play a game. You're coming over here and I will find me. You better all go up to me right now. I'm just nailing you. Ooh. And then I'm like, um... No, I would done that like five minutes ago. I'm gonna go play a game now. And then it's like that night, I'm probably gonna die. <sighs> yes, it's nighttime again and they still have not arrived. Since you're gonna be, you're technically already gonna die. I don't know how you're still alive. Man, this is a gone for already. This is the second day of it just being like this. It's probably gonna be like this, me just staring at her until like uh, the festival day, probably. Oh my gosh, because it's already been um, she killed herself. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! She she is definitely dead. Her she has no life in her eyes at all now. Am I just gonna sit here and watch until she dies? Like this is Oh my gosh, dang it. She's gonna She looks like a zombie right now. Let me see. Yeah, she's losing color in her face. Don't tell she's dying. Like, like not dying, but I mean, like, uh, weathering away. And still, no sign of an ambulance at all. And I've called them three days ago. And I'm, I'm feeling like she's still trying to talk to me. I don't know, but she look, she looks like a. What the, how is she still talking to me and she looks like a freaking skeleton right now? What in the world? I am not. I am not going out of this. Never. I will keep going until it gets to the next day. Oh my, not, not literally next day on here, but like, I mean like... How long is this? What are you doing to me? You are... Come on. Oh, another night. Another night time. Whoop-de-doo. So, let me get this straight. So, what happened was I... Um, uh, three days... Ambulance is still not coming. And, um, I don't know whose classroom this is, but apparently your school has not, uh, began session yet, so it's been about, this is the third day, ooh, maybe in the morning, I think in the morning, uh, school, please be the school in the morning, and then somebody comes in there and actually sees her dead, alright, and then I'm standing over body, and I'm just like, uh, she wanted to talk to me. She was still talking to me while she was dying. 
but I couldn't make out her last words. And then I'm gonna go to her funeral, and everybody's like, and her last words, this guy right here knows. And I just stand up in the podium, and I'm just, and then just, that's what she said, guys. And then I walk off, and then everybody just, and just, wow. She has such a way of words. Actually, everybody's gonna remember her with freaking um, all of her freaking poems that she's written. And that's gonna be read at your funeral. All your poems, don't worry. All your poems gonna be read. Even your crazy last poem that you try to freaking shove in my face until we, I, I better like it. Don't worry. Oh, it's morning. Come on, kids. Come on in here and see a dead body. And then be all like, Oh no! There's someone dead! Don't, no, no, she's not really dead, dead. She's lacking nutrition, okay? Lacking nutrition. She hasn't ate, she has been sitting here. Uh, she has not ate anything or drank anything for the last three days. <gasps> Wow, you got here before me. Uh, hey! Ah! <laughs> Nisaki runs away. Uh, I'm here. Perfect. Did something happen? Nisaki just ran past me. Oh. Uh, well, that's a shame. Wait, weren't you here the entire weekend, Perfect? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. A what? What's going on here, lady? Almost done. I just wanted to have a cupcake real quick. Uh, Monica left the foils from you know, the tray. Takes a cupcake. Seriously, because of the best. I really just had to move one. I just had to have one. Once it's the last time I will ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. 